guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my fall makeup tutorial. Cannot believe it's already that time of year again, but you know what? I'm actually pretty excited about bringing these colors back into my routine with like the bold eye and the dark lip. So if you want to see how I came up with this look, keep on watching. I started by priming my eyes with Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre so there wasn't any creasing with these matte shades. Then I grabbed my Tartlet palette and used my fave color which is called Free Spirit. It looks very similar to my skin tone so it makes the perfect base. I applied this color all over the lid and up underneath my brow. Then I used this powder puff that I used to set my foundation as an eyeshadow guide. You can use tape too, but I like this for giving me the precision I want while keeping it soft at the same time. The rest of the shadows are all neutrals from the Stila in the No palette. I started with this light, light brown and applied that to the outer edge of the eye. Actually, all of the shades will be applied to the outer edge because that's the only part of the eye we're focusing on. And as you can see, this color is really subtle, but it's perfect for starting the gradient that we're going for. Next, I use this orange shade over top of all that, and this color really warms the eyes up and gives it that autumn feel. I love it! I spent more time with this shade than any other, really blending it in and using it as a transition color that you'll see underneath all of the darker shades I use. Next, I used the medium brown and again just blended over top and started to darken the eyes up. It's best to go from light to medium, then to dark when you're building colors and wanting them to blend seamlessly, or else the colors could just look muddy and too dark too quick. Now I'm using a pencil brush with the darkest brown in the palette and starting to add precision to the outer edges of the eyes. Now for the icing on the cake, the black. This finishes off every smoky eye and pulls the look together. I used the pencil brush again and applied this black over top of the dark brown I just applied. Do you guys see the dimension I'm talking about? If you look at the shadows, you can see all the layers and they all softly blend into one another without any harsh lines. I added my L'Oreal Carbon Black liquid gel pencil to the lash line and rimmed my upper waterline to make sure there's no spaces showing. Then I used the NYX Matte Liquid Liner to go over top of what I just did and to make sure that I was going to have those precise wings. I love how this liner dries matte and I thought it went super well with the soon to be all matte look. Then I added some Rimmel Lift Me Up Mascara and it smells like cucumbers, very fresh. I added this to the top lashes before I applied the Huda Beauty Lashes in Samantha, love those. Moving on to concealer, I used the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer underneath the eyes to conceal the dark circles and then used it to make sure it was clean and precise right underneath my wing liner to give it that crisp point. Lana on fleek. This is a really creamy product, so I blended really well with my beauty blender, and then apparently I was really feeling this part of the song. Then I used my Hoola bronzer from Benefit and used that as my contour and to warm up the cheeks. I brought the color up onto the temples and forehead to warm up the entire face. Moving into the fall, I'm starting to get pale again, so it's all about putting the color back into my skin with products like these. I added some nose contour to complete the overall look, but making sure not to go too heavy, which I've been guilty of before. For blush, I used NYX's Spice and I thought it went well with the theme of the makeup. I applied it super lightly to the apples of the cheeks and worked back and up to balance everything out. Now I decided I had to smoke out the lower lash line. I usually leave this because I'm all about shadow on top and clean under eyes, but I thought I should go all the way for you guys. So quickly said, I did exactly what I did on top in the same order of shadows, finishing with the black liner to line my waterline. Now for highlighter, I used the Mary Luminizer from The Balm, and this is the only non-matte product to the look, but I thought I could use a touch of highlighter to the tops of the cheekbones for a little bit of glow. Then there's this lip liner that I somehow still have. I don't even know how I still have this. It's the Neutral Lip Liner from Kevin Aquan, and I used to lightly line and define the lips before adding NYX's Soft Matte Lip Cream in Monte Carlo. Now this color is beautiful, but it wasn't what I was going for. I wanted the look to be a little bit more intense, so I layered this lipstick called Black cherry from Milani on top. It's dark, 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 and I love that. Because we're using such a dark shade, I went in with a lip brush to fill it all in so it didn't go everywhere. Now this lipstick's glossy, but I wanted it to be matte, so I took a tissue and peeled off a layer and placed that over the lips. Then with a brush, I dabbed some powder on top, and this is cool because the powder applies through the tissue to leave you with a matte lip. Pretty cool, right? All 
Alright guys, so that's my fall makeup look. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you liked to have the makeup turned out in the end, give the video a thumbs up so I can see. Also, if you're new to my channel, you guys know the drill. Subscribe for more beauty videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.